Hey guys, October the 1st here in Central Illinois. Uh, we'll see if it comes to pass, but they're even calling uh, for the temperature to drop into the upper 30s tonight. So uh, it uh, winter must be right around the corner. Well, what I thought I'd show you was a quick update here on the Kingsbury trolley. Uh, coming along real well. I've got it all self-contained now as far as the power plant goes. We installed a pickup and uh, uh, various other things, so it's uh, it's coming right along. But uh, this is what we've got. We've got little people in here, and this is not the height that I wanted yet. Uh, originally, I was using uh, the seats that were inside the trolley uh, as a, a platform to put my sheet steel up against, but it was high on one end, low on the other. It was bent, so I cut it all out, and uh, what I'll do is I'll solder this to the side, and this will act as a platform so that the... Uh, Sheet steel can come up and uh, come up against it flush, and then I'll bolt the uh, uh, the unit to this uh, uh, this angle iron. But uh, it's uh, it's working it's working well. Uh, got a lot more work to do on it, but uh, we'll show you what we've got here. Take the body off, and uh, I got to be careful with these people. They're paying customers, and they get really upset if uh, they're inconvenienced. So, this is what I have created for the body to ride on. It's just a flat plate, bolted at both ends, with a cross member, which is bolted to this flat. And uh, I will most likely, the sheet steel is cut to size, and that will fit up inside this. Now, I don't know if you can see it or not. All right, yeah, you can see maybe those bright spots right there. Well, that's where the seats were. I've cut all that off. And if you look out here on the uh, the side here, at the bottom of the window, the very bottom, that bead that you see along the bottom of the window, that's where on the inside I will solder uh, the quarter-inch angle. And then, like I say, that will allow this body to slip right down on top of it. So, let's... Uh, Take this, and I'll show you the underneath side. There is my pickup. Now, what I did was I made a cutoff, or a standoff. And this is just a regular pickup uh, that I took off of a, uh, a 200 series freight car. And I drilled and I tapped it, put it all on there. And what I like about it is it's a little bit too close, but I can adjust the tension on uh, the pickup just by loosening one screw and rolling it down and it makes really good contact i've always had problems with these when they're set just right they pop up and down the lights flutter and stuff like that well i don't want i don't want an interruption when i'm trying to run uh, uh using this power so i'll show you what we got now all this is temporary all the wheels on this thing will eventually be die cast because of the size difference. And I think the size difference is one of the reasons why I have some traction problems. And believe you me, this is, uh, I think this is a quarter inch black iron and it's uh, half an inch wide. This is heavy. There's a lot of weight being applied to that. So here we go. We'll see what happens. It handles it well, and I got the uh, pickup adjusted really, really good on it, so I don't think I'm going to have any problems. All right, now I'll show you what this, show you what this rinkdom does. See if I can get it off of here being a one-hander. This is also my ground. Doesn't help that I can't see either. 
And I have no feeling on my fingers. That's another problem. Don't ever get Dupuytens contractures and have uh, multiple surgeries because it uh, can get old and decrepit and people like me, as you see, I can't hold on to stuff. It's a real pain. And I'm left-handed too, and that's, well, that's the curse of the mummy right there. Okay, got it off. Now, all this is, is the support. There's my pickup, and like I say, one screw, screw it tight, that, that standoff is flush and tight against the other side, and I can take and I can adjust that, I can adjust that pickup and get the perfect tension on it. So I really like that. I'm going to actually stay with, with this idea. There's some others that I want to, uh, to add uh, uh, pickups to, and I think I'm going to use this process. It seems to be uh, foolproof, but I'm a fool, so I don't know how, how foolproof it really is. But uh, that's where we're at. So the next few things we're going to do is we're going to get this uh, we're going to get this bracing soldered in there. We're going to dip that thing into uh, evapo rust, get it all cleaned up, uh, get a spot up here for the uh, pantograph, get that put on there. Um, I'd actually like to cut that out and put lights in it. I don't know if I will or not. Yeah, I, after a while, you get tired of doing stuff, and uh, uh, it would look cool with lights, but I don't know that I want to mess with it. Not only that, there's no easy way of drilling that puppy out since it's all one solid unit. All right, guys, that's about it for now. We'll, uh, we'll talk with you later. See you in a couple of weeks, maybe. Don't work too hard, and uh, enjoy. Toodaloo.